So today I'm going to be sharing with you my tips and tricks on how to declutter your phone and your laptop. This is something that I do like every week. I barely have like anything saved on my phone. I'm constantly like clearing out my phone and laptop because I don't want it to run slow. I like to take a lot of photos and I don't like my memory getting full up. I just like everything to be like fast and clean and organized and neat and like new. <laughs> so if you are looking for some ways to declutter your phone and your laptop, then keep on watching. The first thing is to start out by deleting music. Deleting music on iTunes, deleting saved music on Spotify, just getting rid of music that you don't listen to. So I don't use iTunes, I don't use Apple Music, I use Spotify. So I've actually deleted the iTunes app off my phone. I don't have that at all because I do have some songs on my iTunes on my computer for editing my videos and things like that, but I don't actually need it on my phone or want it. So I don't have that on my phone. I don't have any iTunes music on my phone. Then on Spotify, I'll go through and delete any saved music. You have the option to like save songs and music. So if you're offline and don't have any internet or data, you can listen to the song still. I will go through and delete these because I have a habit of just like saving random albums and just like loads of random albums that I don't actually listen to. So I will just have the songs that are in my playlist saved. So I'll go through and delete everything and then resave my playlist. So next thing is to delete text. Texts take up so much space. I'm, I'm one of the kind of people that will text myself things, so I'll t text myself photos and videos and things if I don't like airdrop them or if my airdrop isn't working, I'll send them to myself. My friends will also send me like pictures in our group chats and things like that. And this takes up so much of your memory, so clearing out texts that you don't need. Clear out texts from people that you don't text anymore, old conversations that you probably have on your phone for over a year. Clear them all out and clear out uh, conversations that have like loads of pictures and things like that. The next thing I do on my phone is I have everything organized into folders. It's the same on my laptop and my iPad. Just all my apps are organized into folders. My first page, I just have my most used apps at the front everything that I use and then I've got one folder of everything else that I can't be bothered swiping to the next page for and then on the second page I just have like all my food apps for my takeaway, my photo editing app, my banking and travel apps, everything is just categorized and in its own folder so it's a lot easier to find. The next thing I do that not many people do but has saved me so much is I make photo streams so instead of photo albums I'll make a photo stream I can access those photos on my computer, my phone, or my iPad, and they're not actually saved on my phone. So those photos aren't taking up any storage, any memory on my phone. So what I do is I will make a photo stream. You have the option to share it with other people and other people can contribute to it. So like you can have a photo stream with your friends where you all just post photos of all of you guys together that you have so then everyone can go in and save them and then edit them. and upload them wherever they want and have them um, but I just keep mine to myself and I have like photo streams for different things so I've got one for 2018 at the moment at the end of the year that will get deleted most likely I've got one of photos of just me photos of me and my friends I've got my photography I have um, one of all recipes that my mom will text me, I'll screenshot them and put them in here. And then my camera roll, I only save photos that I really want to save or videos. So these are just like some memes and screenshots and photos that I want to post or like inspiration for makeup or outfits and things that will not like get deleted by the end of the week. Yeah, all my photos I keep in photo streams and that, that just keeps things way more organized. It doesn't take up this memory on my phone and I can access them from any device. My mum definitely needs to clear out her phone. She, she's got like 5,000 photos on her phone. She doesn't leave any of her texts and she never has any storage. And anytime she has to take a picture, she has to like go in and like delete like 10 photos so she'll have enough room to actually take another picture. So definitely transfer your photos, whether you put them in photo streams or just like transfer them onto your computer so you can put them on a hard drive to keep the future. I upload like my photos of the year like that I take from my friends and things like that onto Facebook. So they're, they're on Facebook so I can access them on Facebook and view them on Facebook. There's not really any need for me to have like five other copies of that on my phone. Photos take up so much of your storage so make sure you clear them out. Unsubscribe from all your emails. I do this every week. I will somehow end up being subscribed to loads of emails from places that I don't want to receive emails from. So 
definitely go through and unsubscribe from your emails from places that you you definitely do not want to be subscribed to. You just get loads of junk and spam from them. So I'll go through and unsubscribe. I also have my mail on my computer set up. I have multiple emails. I've got like my, my personal emails, my business emails, my university emails. I have quite a few email accounts. So they are all organized as their own separate accounts. And then I also organize folders within them to keep everything together and tidy. On my mail, on my MacBook, I've actually set up this thing where you can create keywords and anything any emails with those keywords in them will automatically get put into a folder I also always make folders when I'm going on my holidays to have all my like hotels and flights and all the booking information in one place so I can just access that definitely take the time to go through your emails and I always delete any emails that I don't need delete your trashes on your photos you can delete photos and they go into your like deleted photos folder Delete that, delete your trash on your computer, delete the trash on your mail, delete all your trash, get rid of everything that you don't need because because even though it's been deleted, it's not completely been erased off your device. So make sure that you have gotten rid of everything. One thing that I like to use on my computer is called Omni Disk Sweeper. I've always used this. This basically shows you what's taking up how much memory that you have on your computer. So I will use this to delete any hidden folders and things. So these are things that you can't see but are taking up loads of room on your computer. Like if you've ever cleared out your laptop and fe felt like you've deleted so much yet, you still have yeah it still says that your laptop is like full and you can't use it anymore this is this is the app that you use for that you can go in and clear everything from it so even though I'll import footage into Final Cut and edit a video and export it and then delete everything it can still be in there and like that's like three gigabytes there that's sitting in my computer that I thought that I've deleted that isn't actually gone so I definitely recommend using this to go through and clear out all your files in your computer and then you can see where all your files are and what's taking up the most space and all of that basically. So thank you so much for watching this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did then make sure you give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next video. Bye! I got that kind of